Hi, welcome to You Are Home Live. Today we are touring Pomfret Hall. My name is Olivia, and I'll be giving your tour today. Um, right now we're standing up here by the front entrance of Pomfret, right by the front desk. One quick thing to note, every resident will get a set of keys. This will have a fob for security, and that fob will be right here, and that's how you'll get in. But this door will be unlocked for most of the day while our desk is open and our dining hall is open, so any student can access the dining halls and desk. But yeah, um, we'll go ahead and start our tour up here. I'll just go ahead and... So behind the camera, I'm not going to show myself, but it's Reed. Um, I've done a couple of the other tours. I'm a senior conference ambassador this summer, and I will be able to answer and kind of um, ask Lydia questions as you have them. So feel free to send them whenever. But yeah, we can go ahead and get onto the tour. But yeah, uh, we'll just start up here by the front door. Um, this is Pig Theory. This is one of our dining options on campus. It's going to be open like during the evening, Sunday through Thursday. And that can be used for like a meal train. Um, it's barbecue. It's pretty good. I've had it a couple times. I lived in Pomfret as well. Um, I did the maple tours. And yeah, I've lived on campus a couple of years. So. You're a fan of the Nashville hot chicken sandwich? I am. They do have a pretty good Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it. I've never yeah. tried it before. Uh, what about the, uh, you mentioned buses. Is yes. Is that something you want to show off here or you want to show it off later? Oh, I can go ahead and talk about it. So if you're living in Pomfret, you're like, I'm at the bottom of the hill. I'm gonna have to walk <laughs> that big old hill every day. You don't. There is a bus system that runs and there is a bus. Um, it's going to be a route that runs to lot 56 and there is a bus stop right out here outside of Pomfret by the Bee Wing. And those buses run about every five minutes during the peak hours, like the morning when classes are going. And you can just hop on that bus and take a little 20 minute ride and it'll take you right up to the Union. So you do not have to walk that big old hill every day. Yeah. I didn't, I um, never walked that hill. <laughs> and when we get closer to that area, I'll kind of show you where the bus stop will be as far as like in relation to Pomfret. Yes, there's also a bus stop across from Pomfret. Uh, that's gonna be a different bus. That one also goes on the campus, but it's not as frequent and that's not the one most students take. But yeah, um, I do believe it's Route 11 that most students do take up to campus. So Route 44 also comes through here. It's just not as frequent. So. But yeah, um, if you want to head down with front me. Yes. Uh, here's our front desk. This is our desk admin. Um, she helps process all of our packages, our mail, everything you need. Uh, this is where you're going to come and get like cooking equipment, pool equipment, ping pong equipment. You can check anything out here, get your mail and packages. Um, our desk admin works from eight to four every day about. And then after that, there's always gonna be an RA at this desk until like around 10 p.m. or midnight, depending on the day. But yeah, if you head over this way, these are our mailboxes. This is where you're gonna get all your paper mail. Each student has um, a mailbox or their room has a mailbox. That code will be in the UARC housing portal under my details, that combination for that and what mailbox you have. But yeah, over here is Pomfret C Wing. We won't be touring C or D Wing, but just know C Wing is right by the desk. Yeah, we'll start heading this way towards some more stuff. And no elevator in C and D. Yes. Sorry. Yes. D Wing is the only one with an elevator. But yeah, Pomfret's really well known for its community spaces. It was renovated in 2019. It's very nice. But yeah. This is one of our many community spaces. This is going to have a printer and some study space. A lot of people do come in here to study, do coursework, whatever you need. Um, and then right here is our printer. Um, it only prints in black and white. But yeah. And there's also a community space outside right here. It does include a lot of seating, some really cool Edison bulb lights, really nice. Yeah. It's a um, cute little room. It's very nice. I've done homework in here many of times. Yeah. Um, we'll head down here. D Wing is going to be on this side of the building. Um, we won't be headed on that way today. Just know if you do live in D Wing, you're going to be on that side. Right here is Comfort Dining Hall. Um, that one's also a really big dining option. It is open from 8 to 8 every day, I believe. Um, the hours vary. There's going to be a dining live tomorrow, so tune in for that for more dining information. But just know Pomfret in, inside the residence hall has two dining locations. It's one of the many perks of living here. So yeah, here we're going to come into the laundry room of C and D Wing. You get two wash and dry cycles per week. 
and then after that it's a dollar fifty per cycle. You can add money to that account using Apple Pay or any other debit card. But um, you just want to walk in here. You can show. I don't, yeah, they have like one of the flyers up that you can see more information about it. It's right here. But it's uh, Speed Queen. I would recommend going ahead and downloading that for when you get here. Um, and there will be instructions on the housing website as well, I believe, about how to access your laundry account. But yes, um, it's really good for knowing like if someone like opens up your laundry while you're not there, it'll notify you if it like gets opened, and it'll let you know if all the washers and dryers are full, so you don't have to walk all the way down here and find out they're all full. Yeah. But yeah. What's the day to do laundry? Would you say? I was in my laundry stupidly late at night <laughs> or in the middle of the day Okay. when no one else was doing it. The bad days are Sundays and yes. like the weekends because everyone wants to do their laundry on the weekends nice. during the day. But if you got some time in between your classes and you're here, yeah. middle of the day, no one's doing laundry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smart. Yes. Okay. Or like super late at night, but not everyone's up that late. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this is going to be the laundry room for C and D Wing. B Wing has its own laundry room. Um, we'll get, we'll head down here. I do believe you can access D-Wing, or yes, D-Wing from this level. This is going to be one of the entrances from the parking lot. But yeah, there's some more community spaces at the end of this hallway, but this is going to be where you're going to come in during move-in, a lot of people, if you're at, like moving into C or D-Wing. And then right down here, Here's the entrance of D-Wing. There is like a little community space specifically for D-Wing. Um, this is FOB access only. So not everyone can just roll up in here and use it. But yeah, here's a community space that's open for everyone. A lot of people use this for studying, coursework. You'll see more of it as we come in here. There's a little kitchenette area right here with a community fridge. And then in here we have a bigger community space. Um, this is good for like group work, individual studying. There's some whiteboards. When I lived here, I saw a lot of people using this. Really yeah. cool space. Again, Pompera has a lot of community space. Um, it's one of the many perks of living here because there's not a lot of community space within the halls like where residents live the bigger space is all going to be like centralized here. Huh. And it looks like we have our CRE for Palm yeah. here. Yeah. This is Leslie. Do you Absolutely. want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Good afternoon. I'm Leslie Parker. I'm the CRE of Palm Hall. Going into my fourth year as a CRE, second year overseeing Palm And I did stay here when I was a freshman, so it's come full circle. Yeah. Uh, the awesome. space you're in now is uh, currently honestly being renovated. We're still working some stuff around uh, to make it even more uh, of a like collective study space for students. So not only is this classroom, those desks that you just saw are pretty much brand new. We got those from the Arkansas Traveler Student newspaper this summer. Uh, we're also in the process of, again, doing some minor renovations here, uh, just getting some updated furniture, as well as making the uh, private study spaces in here a little bit more accessible. I can't promise you that refrigerator will be here. <laughs> <laughs> so don't think on that. Uh, but yeah, we, we're trying to constantly make upgrades to Pumper because uh, it is a great building. So yeah. Awesome. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. We'll start heading back over into more community spaces and the great room. That's going to be a big chunk of the store is community spaces. <laughs> I think Pomfret does a great job at like connecting people that you probably wouldn't meet otherwise. These yes. community spaces are kind of crucial to creating community on the University of Arkansas, which I would also argue is a huge pride of basically the university in and of itself. Yes. Um, and I think that's really awesome. But yeah, um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about myself while we're doing this little long walk. Um, I'm, a, I'm Olivia again. I'm a senior information systems and studio art double major. Um, I actually work down at the Creative Community. That is going to be another perk of living down here. Um, that's going to be in a dohi, but all students have access to it. We have things like laser cutters, 3D printers, sewing machines, crickets, all sorts of stuff. So if you ever have free time, go down to a dohi and check that out. You'll see me there working. It's my second year working there. Amazing. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, we're coming up on the great room here. This is going to be the biggest community space in Pomfret. Pool tables, um, lots of seating, a whole lot of seating, and there's a lot of little different rooms in here. So we'll go look through those. Yeah. 
Oh, the first room you're going to see here is our music room. We can go in here. Yeah. yeah. That's our motion activated. That was it. Are they? There we are. There we are. You play an instrument. Let us know what instrument you play. Yes. Lydia is also in the band. I am. I play trombone in the marching band. If you ever had a football game or basketball game, it's me playing trombone. But yeah, there's a piano in here. Um, last year, there was a group of students that came in here and did a lot of jazz improv. It's really cool. Another trombone player I know. He lived here with me. His name is Evan. Shout out to Evan. Really cool jazz player. Shout out, Evan. But yeah, they do a lot of fun things in here. Yeah. If you play an instrument, just come down here and check it out. Yeah. So our next room is going to be a gaming room. This is a really big space. People who come down here bring their games, watch TV. There's a lot of seating in here. You can bring your own seating. You can honestly probably bring your own gaming systems. I'm not for sure what gaming systems they have out during the year. I believe there's a Wii. I'm not terribly sure. But you can. there's also gaming systems you can check out from the RAs at the desk. So. Awesome. There's that. Lots of movies you can check out. Um, I do believe they normally have like a DVD player. Um, over the summer we have summer camps living here so they usually take those out so they don't take those or mess them up. But there will be like gaming systems, DVD players out here. Um, so you can come down here with your friends, have a movie night, just dance night. It's really fun, really big space. But yeah, do we wanna walk through the kitchen? Yeah. yeah. So Pontra has a kitchen space as well. Pomfret does not have an oven or a stove. A little kitchenette space. This is all our vending machines, sink, there's a Keurig, microwave, toaster oven, lots of other stuff. Um, I don't believe they have an oven because there is two dining options in the building. So you don't really have to be making your own food <laughs> when there's yeah. a dining hall right above it. So yeah, hey y'all. Do you want to introduce these lovely people? Yeah, so this is the RA staff. Uh, we have a few that are out, but they're, they're hard at work getting prepared for our students to arrive next week. Uh, so we can do an awesome year for them. So, yeah. Awesome. That's Super fun. exciting. Can't yeah. wait. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, guys. see all these faces in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll get headed down this way. Um, Leslie's office is going to be right over here. So if you're ever concerned, need anything. That's good to know. Yeah, lots of community spaces, tables. This is my favorite part of the dorm, yes. is that um, big painting. We can look outside Fierce. here for a little bit. Um, there's a big community space outside as well. Um, yeah. The bus stop is gonna be right here on the end towards like the right of all of that seating. Um, again, lots of Edison lights down here in South Campus. <laughs> they really got into those Edison bulbs in like 2019. Uh, I think they're really pretty. They, they're all over Adobe too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is our service center. This is not the front desk. Um, you probably will never, ever need to use this desk. So the front desk is going to be on the other side of the building. Yeah, we go down here. We're going to enter B Wing. There's also vending machines down here. So if you're in B Wing, you don't want to walk all the way over the right here. We maintain a number of 24 hour a day phone centers, and that's one of the phone centers that we have. Yes. I also want to mention about the vending machines. You can tap and use your razor bucks on them this this year, which is very convenient if your yes. parents are giving you razor bucks if you're filling those or anything like that. Um, B wings laundry is going to be right here past the elevators. Um, same thing as the C and D wing laundry, but B wing has their own because combined it's the same reverse floors as C and D wing. Right. Mm -hmm. We're going to be on the eighth floor, so. Might note that uh, as we're in the elevator, we may lose connectivity, so. But we'll get it right back as soon as we get up to the top. And you tell us where you're from? Uh, I, don't if you did or not. I don't believe I did. I'm from Greenwood, Arkansas. Hey. Go Bulldogs. Yes. Going down. I think we're gonna to go to the right. Yes. You're right. The right is right. So yeah. this is gonna be where your trash room is. It's um, currently it's closed. closed right now for move-in. Uh, those get really full really quick. But each floor has a water bottle filler. That's one of the great things about Pomfret. Most buildings don't have one on every floor, so. Yep. We're headed into one of the bathrooms right now. 
Pomfret, each floor um, has two bathrooms. They connect each side of the hallway and they're gonna be split in half. So this side is where all your like toilets are gonna be, uh, toilets and sinks, really great like long space to get ready in the morning. There's a little shelf. You can set all your appliances on there if you blow dry your hair. I always had to come in here to blow dry my hair so I don't like my roommate up. And then over here are the showers. Let's show one of the showers for this thing. You get a sense of there's a little room in the front. There's a bench right here. Yeah, so if you bench right there. Sit down or anything. And little shelves and things like that. Yeah. Um, there is an extra little privacy again with the room right here. Um, two curtains. I've never had an issue with anyone walking into me on, in the shower. You, it's pretty odd. Like the shower curtains are always open, so if one's closed, you don't go in there. But I've also never had an issue finding a shower that's open. They're all pretty like open all the time. There's never like much like you know, fighting for space. Yeah. yeah. We want to show the uh, edge room yeah. first, like the, yeah. the one on the side. Yeah. So there's going to be two different types of rooms. Um, the, most of the rooms are going to be pretty standardly the same, but these rooms on the end right here, they're going to be slightly different. So we'll show one of those. Which one is this? This is 808. 808. 808. Is anyone staying in 808? Let us know. So the windows are the, on these are going to be slightly different. The room layout is going to be a little different. Um, I do believe it might be the same surface area, just in a different layout. Yeah. But yeah, um, this room is going to have six outlets. Each person has three. It's pretty split down the, the middle. Each person has a window, desk, bed, wardrobe, dresser, and three outlets. And then each floor feeling has a different accent color wall or some of them have the same ones. They're just different accent colors. This floor is white blue. But um, what are the other colors? There's blue, tan, and green. So. Yeah, one of those three. Mine was green when I lived here. They're actually kind of nice. I do like having an accent wall. But yeah. Um, We'll go ahead and head yeah. over to one of the standard rooms. Um, let us know if you have any questions about this. If um, you're just now jumping on, we are now in Pomfret. Um, we just looked at an in-room. If you are have questions about in-room, we can definitely come back here in a second. Yes. Um, but we're about to go to a standard room. Um, but yeah. This one? All right. This is going to be the most standard room you will probably be living in. Also, you might see these fridges. Um, you were able to rent out a fridge microwave combo. So if you do have one of those, it will be outside your room waiting for you. Micro fridge. They pick it up at the end of the year too, so mm -hmm. it's actually yes. very convenient. I do believe this was the room? Yep. yep. 812. 812. If you're living in 812, let us know. But yeah, this is going to be your standard room in Pomfret. This one actually has a beautiful view <laughs> of the stadium. This also, DWR, baby. This is also great for sports fans. You're literally within walking distance of most every single sports complex on campus. Yep. Um, the hyper is literally across the street from Pomfret, so if you're really into working out or you read, um, is rock climbing, swimming, all sorts of stuff, um, go check it out. It's free to all students who are enrolled in classes. But yeah, do we have any measurement questions? There's also going to be measurements on the housing website under Pomfret. There is standard measurements and a 3D model that you can tour and do your own measurements as well. Yeah. But, are there any questions? Yeah, we're gonna give it to uh, give it a second. Um, please let us know if you have any questions. We have a mm -hmm. someone's asking, can you hang curtains? Um, curtains. I mean, there's room for a tension rod right up there, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be huge. Yeah, it's gonna be a really long tension rod and everything like that. Do you mind pulling the blinds? Yeah. So they can see a sense of how dark these get. So yeah. if you're if you're focused mostly on making it dark in here so you don't get woken up by the sunlight. The blinds can be pretty, pretty dark. I'm trying to get them down. Oh, okay. I think I'm on the wall. Okay. All right. Come on. Well, this is a perfect example. We have, we have fix it for you if you need this kind of stuff fixed. There, oh, no. I almost got them. There they go. I never had curtains when I lived here and it was pretty Pretty easy. You need to reach over there. You've got it. Um, I'm turning this right here. Oh, it's gonna 
you're just like, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I never had curtains, and I never had an issue. I can get pretty dark in here. Yeah, the blinds are pretty, pretty, pretty strong for. Um, it's not lockout, but. Yeah. Do you um, mind giving the measurement across here? Yeah. Um, that way they can, if they want, try to put a tension rod in. Okay. Yeah. Um, it is nine feet five inches. Perfect. Yeah. Um. Abby is asking, what are the measurements of the top shelf in the wardrobe and also the bottom section of the wardrobe as well? So we can give you those me measurements. Our wardrobes are going to be like two sections here with a single rod. And the top shelf is going to be one foot by two feet and ten inches. And then this bottom section is going to be four feet, six inches tall. And then again, two feet and 10 inches wide. Yeah. Um, someone asked, are they able to mount a TV in Palm Um, Not really. You, I don't think you can mount a TV, but um, when I lived here, I had a TV that had legs on it and I was able to fit it right here pretty easily. Yeah. I was able to watch TV from my bed. Yeah. And these beds are loftable. They yeah. will only loft to about like this high. Are they both twin XLs? Yes, I do believe so. Was that the sheet has it there and there is on the yeah. move in website under ready to arrive you'll find uh, the exact dimensions. Mm -hmm. Um so the second sheet maybe? Second. Not say, oh wait, it might be there. Let's see. Um we should have eighty one inches and seventy five is what they should be. I do believe it was. Because they're two different size. sizes. Um I had a twin mattress topper and it was like a little too short for it, so. Do you mind, um, I'll help you measure the uh, length of these? Yep. Yeah. The beds or the mattresses? The bed, the mattresses. Okay. Um, the information, even if we, we recommend, even after you listen to information on the live, that you can go check out the dimensions and everything online as well. Um, those are all gonna be there. You also get a 3D model of the room. Uh, so what was the measurement of that again? It was six foot five, so what, 12 times six plus five? Yeah. Math. Yeah. This one, one is a little bit shorter. I think this may be the shorter one. I'm not yes. Sure. Um, I do believe so. Yeah. Let me check. Let me check. And this one's six foot two. Okay. Yeah, someone is asking how tall the drawers are. The drawers themselves? Yes. I think that and then do the whole one. Yeah. So the drawers are going to be six inches tall. And then the whole dresser should be two foot five. Perfect. Awesome. Are there any more questions from everyone? I mean, you all know it all. It's good. Again, again, the um, all the dimensions of everything are going to be online. You can look all this up. The three D model allows you to measure things that are more specific. Um, someone's asking how wide the drawer is. It's going to be two foot two by one foot eight. Yeah, and then Alex asked how many outlets are. I think there's five outlets in the rooms. Five, um, so. And then someone's asking if there's only one fridge per room or if they can both have a fridge or anything. Uh, fridge, I think, well, your best bet is always to collaborate yeah. as roommates because mm -hmm. you don't want to bring more than you need. Um, is a policy, can you have two refrigerators? I think you're only allowed one. I do believe it's only allowed one. Yeah, you'll need to look at the handbook. Uh, go to housing.uart.edu and you can search up in the top right hand corner. Type in like refrigerator. Yeah. And it'll pop up from the handbook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you cannot have an air fryer, so please do not bring an air fryer to campus. No, no air fryers, toasters, anything with an open coil is not allowed. Yeah. But again, there are two dining options in Pomfret, so you, you're going to be really busy if you're a freshman. Trust me, you will be doing a lot and you won't want to have to cook for yourself. 
But if you're really into cooking, again, you can go down to the Adobe Creative Committee and they have a really big kitchen that is open to you during our yeah. hours. Okay. Uh, new this year, as far as things you can't do, unfortunately, our removable wallpaper. Um, yes. We found that it causes too much damage to the walls, but end up, you'll end up getting charged for it. So we don't allow removable wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it does not look like we have any more questions. So if you want to sign us out, that'd be great. Yeah, um, again, just get involved on campus if you're a freshman. Um, it's going to be one of your best bets. I know both me and Reed are very involved with things on campus. Um, that's how I meet most of my friends. And also go to class. Even if they say it's not required, go to class. You pay for it and you might fail if you don't. Yeah. Um, do you have any advice? <laughs> Um, I always say this, and I know it's very cliche, but be very authentic to yourself, and it, everything will fall into place. Um, a couple of last-minute questions. You can I think you can have a Keurig in the room. Yes, there's um, also a community Set up a coffee bar. If you want. Yeah, and then we'll also post the recording of this video, so there will be a 360 of the room as well. But as far as everything, I think we're going to sign out. Yeah, awesome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye.